Hey everyone, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets. I really appreciate your time. Uh, if you saw one of my most recent videos, it was the unboxing of this. This is the Circle with Disney, which is um, a way for parents, and anybody really, but more specifically parents, to control or monitor and filter the content that is available on their internet for their children. Um, you can set up profiles for each child you have, anybody in the home, and set up different levels of filtering, whether it's an adult, teen, or uh, a little one. And you can kind of uh, have a say in what type of content makes it to their devices. You can also set up um, times where they have availability, a sleep time where their device will no longer be able to access the internet, and you can also pause the internet, say you want everybody's attention, pause it, <laughs> They can't do anything. They're gonna to want to not want to know why, and you got their attention. So, uh, I'm gonna do this live to show how simple the pairing is. Everything I've read says it's really easy, um, but we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera now and show you how we're gonna set it up and go through the process together. You do not have to put this next to your router. So to prove that point, um, if you're looking at where I'm sitting here, the router is all the way over here in the background where my computer workstation is and I'm gonna put this box over here on my windowsill to the left. So there's about a 10 foot difference. See what that does. Here's the actual unit here on my, I'm gonna do it right on the carpet to show how, how versatile it is and see if it'll connect, try to make it as difficult as possible. So here is the actual box. And if you recall, if you didn't see the video for the uh, unboxing, I'll have a card up top where you can check it out. But here is the box. And when we open the box, it has the directions inside, all three of them. First, we plug in the circle. I already plugged the uh, cord into the wall, so we'll plug in this part right into the box. Then it says download the app and get set up by following the app. So let's do that together. Okay, so here's my phone. We'll go to the app store. Download the app. Search my circle. Here it is here. Actually, it's Circle Home is the name of the app. And uh, you can see a little cloud there. I actually downloaded earlier. But I figured I'd do this whole process on screen to show everybody how easy it is. So let's open the app. Now, do you want notifications? Um, this box has a built-in battery backup, so if you have a child who thinks he knows everything uh, and decides he's going to unplug this box if you're not paying attention or not home, this will actually send you a notification that that happened and then automatically turn the battery back up. So we're going to keep notifications and hit begin. It says, welcome to Circle Setup. Over the next few minutes, we'll get to know, uh, get your circle paired with your Wi-Fi and set up your account and create profiles for each member of your family. So we'll continue. Okay, now it, you saw briefly it said checking for updates. If you have an update to your uh, software that's actually on the circle itself, that's where that would prompt you to, to update. So let's just continue. It says plug in circle. We already did that. Let's continue. It says now connect to your My Circle hotspot. Then you have to go to settings and Wi-Fi and connect. So let's go to settings, Wi-Fi, and wait for Circle to pop up. Still not there. Oh, there we go. All right, we're connected again for the eighth time. Back to the app. Let's continue, search for the Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm gonna choose the Wi-Fi that I put my kids on, my freeloading guest one. I'm gonna come off screen while I put in the password. Okay, it says connecting. There we go. Can't connect to Circle. Please reconnect this device to the Circle hotspot in settings, Wi-Fi, and try again. 
If the hotspot is no longer available, no longer there, connect to the freeloading guest network. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm back to the freeloading guest network. And now it's connecting again. And another one. Can't connect to circle. Please do it again. And I'm going to Okay, connected back to the kids' uh, Wi Fi. It's trying again. Okay, it's again, can't do it again. So I tried this a dozen times so far and it keeps kicking off. So what I did was kicked my kids off the internet to free up connectivity and let's try it one last time before the fate of this individual box is decided. I'll get back in, let it power on. The background noise you hear is my air conditioner. It's 100% humidity right here in mass right now and I'm sweating my cranium off so I'll try to adjust the sound so you don't hear it too much. Okay so I'm waiting on my phone as you've seen a hundred times already waiting for the circle hotspot to show up there it is finally and we'll join it and we'll go to the app itself now it connected so that was the issue if you have so much stuff drawing on the uh, the network it's not gonna let you connect my son was on his PlayStation 3 his PlayStation 4 his Mac Mini, his iPhone, and his iPad. He's a YouTuber uh, just starting out, so he has some OCD issues with connectivity, and I also had my daughter on the same network on her devices, and it was a pain in the butt. But here it says, uh, you're almost done. Return to the Wi-Fi settings on this iOS device and connect back to Freeloading Guest. When you return here, we'll get you set up with your Circle account. So let's go back onto freeloading guests which is the network that the kids are on okay it's connected we'll go back to circle it says great work you've endured 700,000 attempts <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna do let's see what it says your circle is now paired to your home Wi-Fi next we will set up an account for you to secure your circle this will ensure that you are the only one who can manage circle and its settings we'll hit continue obviously all right, I'm going to put my name in here and my email. Let me pull it up here so I can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so it finally worked. Now it comes up to add your phone number. They'll send a text number with the text message with Circle's access code so that uh, you can authenticate. So let me do that off screen because I don't want everybody here calling me. Okay, the code was sent. Brings you to this screen here where you enter it once you get it and there it is put in your code then it says uh, let's see verifying all right now it says uh, well done now that you've created your circle account the last step is to create your uh, to set up your family let's begin with you so you can add a photo if you want Take a picture of this box since it was giving me such a hard time. And we'll put my name. Filter level. I'm going to do. Uh, just click on it. You can see everything here. It comes up with individual toggles for different platforms. So you can either allow it which would be this checked with the color or exit out so if you don't like if I didn't want myself to access Instagram I could exit out and then I wouldn't be able to go to Instagram so let's see if that works I'm X'd out there we'll save the profile uh, I'll skip the daily limits and skip bedtime and then you have to pick your device out of the list of all the devices that are connected to your network so hopefully you name them correctly and is my it's got two of them hold on let's see hopefully that's the right one we'll just do both 
one of them is going to be my wife's, one's going to be me. But I'm finished. Continue. This is un unmanaged devices. Now, you can select devices that you don't want to manage. For instance, I have a Nest thermostat. Well, I don't want that to be blocked for any reason. So I would add that to the list of unmanaged devices. Um, it says, it looks like your home is smart devices. We pre-selected smart devices that are typically unmanaged. And that is the Nest and my router. So we'll leave it like that. And home profile. Lastly, we'll set up a home profile. Devices that are used by the whole family can go here. Also, everything, uh, any new device that joins the network will default to the home profile. So for the home one, let's just set it for, for adult. And we can go in and change those at a later time. Setup's now complete. So here's the circle app. Here's the cool thing. Pause button. So if I pause it, I won't be able to go online. And no, nobody else will in the family as well. So if you swipe to the from the left to the right, you can add another profile. So for each one of your family members, you can add devices to each profile. You can manage what's going on. It tells you the uh, firmware and all that stuff, the Wi-Fi signal strength. You can change your put notifications or a lock code, etc. And uh, and the help screen. So that's not bad. I'll go back to home. And then now I shut off Instagram, so let's see how good that is. I'll try to go to my Instagram. And couldn't refresh. It's not allowing to go to Instagram. So it's working. So although there were a couple hiccups, we figured it out. And I'm glad that I was able to figure it out. And hopefully you could learn from uh, my my struggle <laughs> so this is the circle with Disney and uh, I'm gonna set this up now for the family and if you have any questions that I might be able to answer feel free to ask and I'll have a link in the description where you could pick one up on your own again if you wanted to buy one in person you can go to uh, Best Buy Target you can order it off Amazon or the Disney store until the next one thank you very much have a good one be safe and take care goodbye <laughs>